This is a demonstration of a failure of the center tank pumps. You are in cruise with the aircraft operating normally. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. Notice that the ECAM fuel page is automatically displayed. Notice the corresponding indications. On the ECAM page, low, boxed amber, means the pump is on but not producing adequate pressure. And on the fuel control panel, the fault light is illuminated amber on the center tank pump 1 push button switch. Perform ECAM action. Switch on the fuel cross feed. Observe that the on light illuminates white on the cross feed push button switch to indicate that the valve starts to open. The cross feed valve is shown amber during the valve transit. The open light illuminates green when the valve is fully open. On the ECAM page, the cross feed valve is inline green. This allows both engines to be fed from the center tank using center tank pump 2. Be aware that if you do not open the cross-feed valve, engine 1 will use fuel from the left inner tank and an imbalance will occur. Continue ECAM action. On the center tank pump 1 push-button switch, the amber fault light disappears and is replaced by the white off light indicating that the pump has been turned off. On the ECAM fuel page, the low indication disappears and is replaced by an amber cross line, meaning that center tank pump 1 has been manually switched off. The abnormal procedure is complete. The fuel system is analyzed. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear fuel. The center tank feeding memo indicates that the center tank is feeding the aircraft, and the fuel cross-feed memo indicates that the cross-feed valve is open. On the status page, center tank pump 1 appears amber in the inoperative system column. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear status. ECAM complete, screens normal. You are continuing in cruise. Remember that center tank pump 1 has failed. Let's see what happens if center tank pump 2 also fails. On the engine warning display, the amber message, center tank pump's low pressure, means that both center tank pumps have failed. You have the same indications as you had for center tank pump 1 failure. Low boxed amber on the ECAM page and the amber fault light on the fuel control panel. Perform ECAM action. Observe the following indications. On the fuel panel, both center tank pumps are off. On the engine warning display, the FOB has a half amber box. The amber box means that some of the indicated total fuel on board is not usable, in this case center tank fuel. On the ECAM fuel page, the fuel on board value is boxed amber, meaning that not all fuel on board is usable. The center tank pumps are cross-line amber, meaning that they have been manually shut off. The center tank quantity is boxed amber, meaning that the center tank fuel is not usable. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear fuel. The status page indicates the following. A green message indicates that the center tank fuel is unusable. The center tank pumps are inoperative. This is indicated in amber. 
after review and confirmation from the pilot flying clear status. ECAM complete, screens normal. The moral, losing one center tank pump requires opening the cross-feed valve to prevent a fuel imbalance. Losing both center tank pumps means center tank fuel is unusable. You are still in cruise. All systems are restored and operating normally. We are now going to study the failure of the inner tank pumps. The amber message, left tank pump 1 low pressure on the EWD, means that the left tank pump 1 has failed. The ECAM fuel page appears automatically with the corresponding pump indication. Note, the master caution and the single chime are not triggered since the fuel tank has another pump for redundancy. Perform ECAM action. Observe, on the fuel panel, the amber fault light in the left tank pump 1 push button switch is replaced by the white off light. On the ECAM page, the amber low indication is replaced by an amber cross line indicating that the pump is off. After review and confirmation, clear fuel. The inoperative system is left tank pump 1, indicated in amber. After review and confirmation, clear status. ECAM complete, screens normal. We are continuing in cruise. Remember that left tank pump 1 has failed. Let's see what happens if left tank pump 2 fails. The amber message, fuel left tank pump 1 and 2 low pressure on the EWD means that both left tank pumps have failed. Note, at this time the center tank pumps are still feeding the engines. When fuel from the left tank is required, refer to the flight manual for fuel gravity feeding. The ECAM procedure requires you to operate the center tank pumps in manual mode. This is to prevent the center tank pumps from being shut off automatically, for example during slats extension. Perform ECAM action. Pressing the mode select switch illuminates the white manual light. The center tank pumps are now operated manually. Continue ECAM action. The left tank pump 2 indications are the same as for the left tank pump 1 shown previously. After review and confirmation, clear fuel. Both left tank pumps are inoperative. This is indicated in amber. After review and confirmation, clear status. ECAM complete, screens normal. We learn from the ECAM actions and indications associated with the left tank pump failures that losing one inner tank pump is not so critical, no master caution, because of redundancy, two pumps. Losing both inner tank pumps means using gravity fuel feeding if necessary. Refer to the flight manual. Now let's see some other abnormal indications that you can have on the ECAM fuel page. If on the engine warning display, the FOB fuel on board indication is displayed with two dashes across the two last digits, the fuel quantity indicator, FQI, is in degraded mode. Select the ECAM fuel page on the ECP to determine which tank is affected. You can see that the affected tank is the left outer tank. 
The two amber dashes indicate a loss of accuracy of the indicated fuel quantity. Also, notice that the fuel temperature can appear amber associated with an ECAM message and a single chime if a high or low limit is detected. In our case, the outer tank temperature has exceeded the low limit. On the ECAM fuel page, the left transfer valve is displayed in amber meaning that it is closed when it should have automatically opened. The fuel in the left outer tank is no longer usable.